Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week we've come down to Splendid, a design agency who's managed to convince Microsoft that they need to get a Microsoft Surface, that's their touchscreen interface coffee table, outside of the US, here into Blighty, and we're here to check it out. Pretty, isn't it? Well, this is the Microsoft Surface, an interactive coffee table that allows you to do so much more than just make pretty patterns and ripples with the water. Now, it works by firing thousands of infrared signals up. This isn't actually a touchscreen, so I can bash it. You know, it doesn't work in the same way as the iPhone does, for example. But what it does do is it tracks all my movement. Now, the great thing is because of all these infrared receivers, it means that I can do multiple touches at any one point rather than just having to do that single touch there and there. Right, well, an interactive ripple board is all very well and good, but, you know, what's the commercial sense of this? Why would you really want one? Well, we press the button here and we get this menu system that allows us to do lots of things. Now, there are already lots of applications available, and the great thing is because this is just a Vista PC at the heart of it, you can obviously load up loads. Now, we're in Splendid's offices. They've designed one for Aston Martin, for example. So what happens here is we now have a Aston Martin showroom. Now instead of hundreds of brochures and catalogues and color charts and all that sort of stuff, we can do here. Now we've got a, we hold this, we've got a 360 degree rotation, rotational system so we can see what's going on. We can change the wheels or we can change the color. So you're sitting in the showroom and you're wondering what color to have your 160,000 pound car. Now, the majority of the time, you get these in the showroom. They go, it'll be like that, it'd be lovely. And you go, well, that's great, but what would it really look like? Again, we turn to the surface, and this time we pull up a different one. So there's a picture. Now, if I drop that on, not only does it tell me that it's the Merlot red, but the color of the car changes. There's a blue one, so if I pick that up, I drop the blue one down. Automatically, it tells me that it's blue sapphire. The car has changed and I can see what it looks like, or oh, rather, very cool. Now, in addition to that, let's go to another one. The really useful thing is, imagine if you're sitting in a hotel lobby, you have no idea where you're going, and you say to the concierge, hello, can you tell me where this place is? And he'll go, eh, of course it is, and he'll suddenly start trying to draw on pieces of paper. Well, if they had one of these in the lobby, the idea is that it's, you get a whole mapping system on its own. So let's pull this out. This loads up, all of a sudden we've got a map of Soho. And we can move it around, we can spin it, there's a satellite view. And all of a sudden you can quite easily see how really useful this would be. Now, the idea is that the applications themselves are incredibly easy to design. And so whilst we're using this for some mapping software, for example, to show you could use it for anything you know, like battlefield troops coming across in like a modern day risk being used by intelligence or air traffic control. It really does seem, without being cheesy, that the possibilities are endless. One of the ones we really like is designed by Splendid for DK Vodka. Now, this is where it gets really exciting. That on the bottom of this, you can see, is a small tagging device. Now, this tells me this tells the computer what this, what this actually is. This is a bottle of vodka. I know it doesn't look like a bottle of vodka, but it, it does. So I put that bottle of vodka down. All of a sudden, the display changes. You get interaction, so you can move that around. And then I can say, I'm going to have a vanilla bond. It tells me the recipe. And then I can obviously, when one's delivered, I can have a drink. Now, if I put the glass down, I get a coaster mat. Now this could tell you lots of different information about the fact that the drink's about to be emptied, what it's in it, it could be involved in a game, and then basically it's a digital coaster. Finally, one of the cool things to show you is that you could take that further and use it with your mobile phone. Again, having a sticker on the back, and it doesn't have to be a sticker, it could be built in, it could be transparent. We press the shopping cart item. Now this allows you to drag here in the case it's games into the section and you can play around with them as always now if you take a phone which also has one of those tags on the back I can drop it there I can validate it and then I can drop things in to my phone now the idea is I check out I've taken the phone away now this could be anything from digital content to information about what I'm going to watch when I'm in the airplane and these are the movies that have just preloaded into my system it's all very cool 
and very interesting indeed. So what do we think? Well, it's incredibly easy to use. It's really exciting. Certainly the possibilities. I mean, look, this is a silly game where... where you have a piano. I mean, that's just, you know, bonkers. Overall, it's really good. Are you going to see one in your home anytime soon? Probably not your living room. However, you probably are likely to see them in the retail space, the hotel lobbies, car showrooms, places all around. And the great news is from next year. This might be the only one in the UK at the moment. However, we're likely to see them in the retail space very shortly. And that's the Microsoft Surface.